And welcome to our video devotional for today, Wednesday, October 26th, 2022. And I want you to hear again these words out of Matthew 20, 29 through 34. Now as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the road when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out saying, have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. Then the multitude warned them that they should be quiet, but they cried out all the more saying, have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. So Jesus stood still and called them and said, what do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes and immediately their eyes received sight and they followed him. So I want, I want us to look at Jesus' response to the cry of these two blind men. And I want you to be able today to translate that to Jesus hearing your cry in your need to him. Note, first of all, the receptivity of the Lord to the need presented to him. I'm saying this very precisely so that we'll understand that the two blind men, Christ was immediately receptive to minister to them. He is that receptive to minister to you likewise. May that encourage your faith today and your trust that God cares about you. I'm putting us in the place of the two blind men. Now, you may not be blind physically, but God's responding to us in the same fashion as he responded to the two blind men. Listen to this in Hebrews 4.15. For we have not an high priest, which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Christ is touched. He's a high priest, touched with the feeling of our infirmity. That which, that is the thing that's eating away at our life. When we cry out to God, by the way, we call this prayer or petitions. When we cry out to God, and, and I guess maybe I feel this urgency right now to just clarify this. You don't have to bow your head and close your eyes to cry out to God. You could be driving your car and, and your spirit and with your mouth vocalizing to cry out to God and, and, and tell him what your need is. You could be riding your bicycle or you could be in your garden working or you could be doing house chores or sitting at an office desk somewhere. You can cry out to God anytime in any place. And when we cry out to God, when we give him our prayers and petitions, we can do so with confidence, knowing that our prayers are welcomed and desired by the Lord. In Hebrews 4.16, the verse following the one I just read to you, we are told to come boldly to the throne of grace. It's called the throne of grace because it's God's grace that flows out of the throne room to us in the form of his love, his mercy, his forgiveness, his help, his spiritual power, his spiritual gifts, and the fruit of God's spirit. It's out of the throne room where God ministers to us and supplies what we have need of. The throne of grace is God's provision for us where we can go directly to our high priest, Jesus Christ, and make our petitions known. Huh. We know this because of who he is. And we know because of that, that we can have an answer to our needs. Because as we talked about a couple of weeks ago, he's Jehovah Jireh, the God of our provision. He's already seen ahead the need we have and set in store the very thing we have need of. I really want you to catch this. Because here's Jesus walking, a multitude following him, and two blind men crying out, have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. There's a multitude there. there let's say there were a 1,000 in the group. We know he fed 5,000 or 4,000, so it, it, the crowd could have been bigger than 1,000. Could have been 5,000 people with maybe more with men, women, and children. And these two blind men, 
had to speak up loud enough to be heard. But what I want you to catch is how accessible Christ is to us as our high priest. He was accessible to these two blind men. Listen, he's accessible to you. I want us also to know by his earthly example, by the teaching of his word, how much he is touched by what ails us. We don't have a high priest who's unconcerned, but one who's touched with the the feeling of our infirmity. And I know a lot of people want us to leave out the feeling aspect, but God's touched with the feeling. He's uh, touched by what aches and ails and hurts and upsets your spirit. And he just looks at you and he says this. Hey, Les, what do you want me to do for you? When our heart begins to understand that this is the desire of God for us, it may well provide the faith we need to approach him in the hour of our need. So what is your need right now? What do you want Jesus to do for you? I want you to join me as we pray about that. Heavenly Father, thank you that you're accessible to us. Wow. And so we call on your name right now and and we ask you to deliver us in this hour from those things which are weighing us down, burdening us, crushing us under the load, whether that be physical, emotional, or circumstances, financially, God. (laughs) We call upon you, we cast our care upon you, we cast this burden on you. You're our burden bearer, and we ask you for your provision. We ask in the name of Jesus. You told us to do so, Jesus, in your word. Ask in my name, and the Father will do it. So we look for the answer. We look for your answer. We look for your provision, and we're committing this to you now in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. May you find God's hand extended toward you right now in the hour of your need. Keep trusting him. Keep crying out to him. He is the God who provides. God's blessing on you today. Have a fantastic day.